And why did you touch the ground? Close your eyes, buddy. Those sparks gonna hurt so bad. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We're going to land in Crash Test Arena. Today we have a new series called Hitting Crash Test Zombies in Car Jump Arena in b Energy Drive. This is the first episode and pretty much self-explanatory, so let's just start. By the way, welcome to the channel if you're new here, or welcome back if you're a DR fan. We just start with the default Gabriel D series, not the blue one, but the yellow one because DR likes yellow. Yeah, but I'm not gonna stick to the same color for the rest of the video because it becomes boring. So let's just hit this zombie and see what happens. Yeah, it was good, but a little bit too fast. So maybe in the next run we should try a slow motion and see how does it feel. And how do you feel, buddy? Not making any noise? Look at your head, it's totally gone. So, let's just do this for every car that we use. One normal speed and one a slow motion. It's really funny that we never had a car jump arena video in this channel. I'm talking about the most used BeamNG Drive map. So this should be quite refreshing. And get ready for a slow-mo zombie. Wait a second, is it a high or is it a buy? Let's just get inside and check. It's definitely a good buy. You got a hard crash ahead, buddy. And why did you touch the ground? Oh, you didn't want us to pass 250 line? So smart. But don't worry, buddy. We got plenty of time. You better enjoy the pool right now. Oh, man, that was crazy. We did 280 degree flips, one in the air and one on the ground and went perfectly straight into the pool. And I can't really wait to see what happens next. You know, this map is full of surprises. Look at the sky, buddy. There's an airplane behind you. Oh, you can't? Your neck is broken? Oh, sorry. Okay, the second car is a Bolide, which is also a default version. So, technically in this video we only use the default versions of the cars, but in the future episodes we will have more variations. But we could literally use the same car over and over and get so many random outcomes and it's still entertaining. Anyway, let's see what happens here. Oh man, that was a good landing, except we cut the car in half and bashed the zombie's head. And a nice view from the captain's seat. Yes, captain's seat. We're flying. Oh man, this is so sad to watch. Let's just move on to the slow-mo. Driving a bolide feels a little bit insecure. Yeah, this car is really fragile, lightweight, and even a simple speed bump can cause damages to the steering wheel. So you have to be really careful. And here we have heavy wind, we're going super fast, and it's a little bit difficult to keep it at the center, but yeah, here you go, one, two, three. What happened to the zombie voice? Oh no, we smashed the head too early, we could enjoy the noise. You know, that's the best noise in the world. Oh, that's me, not the zombie. Anyway, let's just speed up and slow down. Yeah, we passed 300 and we hit the ramp only once. And let's see if we can pass 400. Yeah, definitely. What about 500? Mm, I don't know. No, we couldn't. 
But not bad, not bad. You know, we passed 300, hit the ramp once, and passed 400. Which is not actually 400, but you know, it was fun. It's always sad to see a dead zombie. Because you realize that the fun part is over. A code by DR. Hey, don't worry, the video is not finished yet. And I have a new idea. Let's just do it backward. You know, this car is really fast and the front bumper is too low. So whenever we hit that crash test zombie, it becomes part of the car and it stays with us until we stop. So doing it backward gives us a chance to have a flat surface at the back. And of course, we're doing it in a lower speed. That gives the crash test zombie a chance to have more time to get detached from the car. Oh yeah, you want to touch the ramp again. But you know what? This ramp is really, really dirty. So make sure you wash your hands after that. And close your eyes, buddy! Those sparks gonna hurt so bad! We almost made it to the pool! Not really bad for a backward jump! Don't hide in the sand, buddy, I can hear you! And your head is okay, and I think we can do one or two more runs! And for the last part we have an autobello stambecco. And a stambecco is an Italian word for Ibex. For some of the BMG drive cars the balance is a little bit off, but in this case I'm not sure if it was caused by the tiny bump that we had at the beginning, but yeah, it seems like we have a little bit of balance issue. Maybe it's because of the bounciness of the tires and the engine was gone. Yeah, I clearly heard the engine explosion sound. And this is what I call a zombie grinder. Oops. And never use your zombie grinder with the bones attached. Okay, let's just check and see what's the damage in here. Well, the car or the zombie grinder is totally gone, but let's just have a look at the crash this zombie. Uh Yeah. The legs and arms are kind of gone, but the head is still there and What's going on in here? Can somebody explain it to me? Hey, what do you do, buddy? Is it kind of a dance? Okay, guys, let me just explain it to you. Here, we have a real example of using head. So, next time, when someone tells you, Hey, use your head! This is what you're supposed to do. Anyway, this gives me a headache, so you guys keep watching, and I see you in the final part. Okay, in this final part, since we have a large flat vertical windshield in this car, we're gonna have a different view, and that view is from the captain's seat. And if you wanna avoid engine explosion when you go downhill so fast, it's best to put the car in neutral, so that way you don't get high RPM, and you'll be good. And we have an example, just right now. Anyway, let's just move on to the captain's seat. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We're going to land in crash test arena, sorry, car jump arena in a few seconds. And if you look outside, you can see the birds flying around. Sorry, crash test zombies. Uh, you don't need to fasten your seatbelt because it's not going to make any difference. And please do not try to survive because you're going to be eaten by the zombies anyway.
it's a nice day to get a sun bath. But don't forget your sunscreen, buddy. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.